Hey guys, it's Mr. Chu, and here's what you're going to learn today. By the end of this video, you should be able to determine or identify the transformation that maps one figure onto another. This problem actually provides you a little bit of freedom. You're actually able to plot whatever points you want to form whatever shape you want. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to, I'm going to plot a triangle, and I'm going to start with a point up here. Uh, point down here, and then point down here. I'm going to call these points A, B, and C. Now you'll notice that point A is located at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Point B is at negative 5, 4, and C is at negative 2, 2. Now there's three different transformations that we're going to do, each separate. The first one that we're going to take a look at is transforming xy into x negative y. It is a reflection, and we'll take a look to see what type of reflection it is. Now, we're going to take point A, and we're going to transform it. The rule states that we're going to keep x the exact same coordinate, but we're going to change the sign of y. y is actually 6, but since the rule says to change its sign, the coordinate is now at negative 6. We're going to do the same for B. Now, the x-coordinate is negative 5. The rule states that we're changing the sign of y, so it's now going to be negative 4. And the same goes for c. x stays the same, change the sign of y. What I like to do now is plot these three points. So a prime, b prime, and c prime. So a prime is going to be at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, B prime is going to be at negative 5, negative 4, and C prime, negative 2, negative 2. Now, what type of reflection was this? Did it reflect over the line y equals x? Did it reflect over the y-axis, or did it reflect over the x-axis? I'll leave that to you. Now the second transformation, we're going to change the sign of the x-coordinate and keep the y the same. So what we're going to do is, we're going to call this a double prime. It's the second transformation that we're looking at, so that's why we have two primes. Now the x coordinate is going to change signs. So a was negative 4 comma 6. We're going to change the, the sign of the x coordinate, so this is now going to become 4, 6. Again, the rule states that we keep y to be the same. b double prime changing the x-coordinate sign, so instead of negative 5, it's positive 5. The y-coordinate stays the same. And c double prime is now going to be 2, 2. Now let's plot these points, a double prime, b double prime, and c double prime. So we're at 4, 6 for a double prime, 5, 4, b double prime, and 2, 2 for c double prime. Again, it is a reflection. Now is it over the line y equals x? Is it over the y-axis? Or is it over the x-axis? I'm going to leave that for you. Last but not least, we have one more reflection. The rule states that we're going to switch the x value with the y value. That is, we're going to switch the coordinates. The x-coordinate is going to switch with the y-coordinate.
we're going to use a triple prime. This is the third transformation we're looking at. Again, the original coordinate of a was negative 4, 6. The rule states we're just flip-flopping. We're switching the x and the y coordinate. So we're actually looking at 6, negative 4. B double, I'm sorry, B triple prime is going to be 4, negative 5, and C triple prime is going to be at 2, negative 2. So let's plot these points. Six negative four, negative four, I'm sorry, four negative five. That's not four negative five. Silly me. Four negative five, and then two, negative two. So we have a triple prime, b triple prime. And C triple prime. Again, I'm going to leave you to fill out these blanks. This last one is another reflection, but it's over something. Is it the line y equals x? Is it the y axis? Or is it the x axis? I will leave you to figure that out.